Well, it was a beautiful day in southwest Louisiana, too, and that was in stark contrast to what it was just the day before as Hurricane Delta hit the coast as a Category 2 storm. People got a look at the damage to their properties and their communities today. And Mike McDaniel is joining us live tonight. Mike, I can only imagine the debris. What did you see today? Yeah, well, Katie, good evening. We spent most of our time between uh, Lafayette and Jennings. We are in rain right now, which like so many communities and places in this area, as you can see, without power tonight, even though there was some damage from Hurricane Delta all across southwest Louisiana, two pieces of good news. No reported injuries or major injuries and no reported deaths. And that's something folks are very thankful for tonight. Between the fallen trees, twisted traffic signals, and roofs peeled off buildings, folks in southwest Louisiana, like Wesley Mooring, know they're lucky, even if not so lucky. When you're messing with hurricanes down in Louisiana, it's a Russian roulette. He gives and takes, so it's, I drew the short end. <laughs> That's his truck under that tree. His wife's SUV crushed on the other side. He and his family rode out Hurricane Delta inside their home in rain, just west of Lafayette. Fearing that tree was about to fall, possibly on their home, he rushed his wife and kids to the back of the house. The moment I knew where it was going, I took off running myself. Seeing the damage, Mooring says he's grateful it wasn't worse. We're just going to trim it off, clean it up. Just down the road in Doosan. So we got a mess. Robert Stutes is cleaning up as well. Picking up and piling it up on the side of the road is all we can do right now. Luckily, with no major damage to his home, Stute says the storm was worse than he expected. All you was hearing is trees cracking, you know, branches breaking. This one broke and I thought it was over here that broke because the wind was blowing so much you couldn't tell where, where it was coming from. Throughout the communities of rain, Doosan and Scott, folks were pitching in, like Lori Crater, who had just helped clear a tree out of the road and was on her way to help get a tree off her mother-in-law's house. Just helping out. Who was the gas for? The gas is for the chainsaw to get the tree off the, <laughs> off the house. Back in rain, it took more than a chainsaw to remove a tree that fell into a 100-year-old home, which is owned by the mayor. Through all of it, no major injuries and lots of thankful people. We were lucky, and uh, it's just material. That's all it is. And Governor John Bell Edwards did get a helicopter tour of southwest Louisiana to take a first-hand look at all the damage. And afterward, he said although Hurricane Delta was a much larger storm than Hurricane Laura, it wasn't quite as powerful. Even so, more than half a million homes and businesses are in the dark tonight without power as thousands of linemen across the state work to get it all restored. Live in rain, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Katie. Round two with that. Thank you, Mike. And we've been working with the Red Cross to raise money for Hurricane Laura victims for weeks now. Delta is piling on to that need for relief in those areas. And if you'd like to help, take a look at your screen right now. You can call 1-800-HELP-NOW or text the word DONATE to 504-529-4444 to get involved. If you can't take note of those numbers right now, though, look for all of this information on our website, WWLTV.com.